What's good everybody, this is Whiteboy503 coming at you with another Android hacking tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how to unlock and root your Nexus device. I am going to be using for this tutorial my uh, Nexus 7 tablet. Um, so first of all what you want to do is we got to get the uh, the device itself set up, that way it will uh, work. So what you want to do is just drop down the menu, go into your settings. Um, and then come all the way down to developer options and then what you want to do if it's not already turned on you want to turn on your developer options and click uh, OK and then come here and click uh, USB debug and make sure that's turned on and then it should prompt you to say OK and just click that so after that everything's done and uh, what you want to do is you want to take your USB cable and this might may take a little bit just for the fact it's kinda hard to kinda hard to plug in uh, I'm just going to set the camera down. It's kind of hard to plug in. It's a pain without uh, using two hands. For me at least. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not good enough or whatever. I don't know. But, okay, so what you want to do is you want to download this file right here. The link will be in the description to this file. Um, it is a Nexus Root Toolkit. And what you want to... This is just the one step or uh, one button press basically. Uh, not having to go through the manual way and everything like that. So what you want to do is you want to double click on this, install the program. Once that's done installing, you should have something that says right here, Nexus Root Toolkit. What you want to do is you want to open this up, uh, click yes. And then you should have something like, like this. Um, Wug, uh, Wug Fresh, Wug Fresh, I don't know how the hell to say your name. Sorry if you're watching, which you probably aren't, but still. Uh, the Nexus Root Toolkit version one point. 5.3 um, and it, it should prompt something up that looks like this um, it, when you first initially do it and it says if you do not or, um, choose your model and Android version um, if you do not know how to go through that you can uh, basically what you do is you just go go into here go into your settings uh, go about tablet and then just that build number right down at the bottom which mine is uh, JR's O zero three D, and then uh, you just use the uh, drop down menu. Um, it uh, just mine's all the way down at the bottom, of course. Um, and then mine's the newest one, so you just click that, apply, let it do its thing. And uh, if if this doesn't work right off the bat, the way um, unlocking it and everything like that, if it doesn't recognize, what you need to do is you need to follow this uh, full driver installation guide, automatic and manual. Um, just just follow follow it um, if you have any trouble um, comment down below and I will uh, try to help you out um, further because um, I've already got it installed because I've already recorded this video because I recorded it with the uh, doing the driver installation guide and it was like 15 minutes so I I'm gonna redo it um, well I am redoing it so um, make sure everything is uh, plugged in and ready um, you can back up your stuff. You would actually, you, you really want to because, um, as we'll see the prompt here, uh, this process will, will re, uh, factory set your device, meaning all your apps, data, and settings will be completely wiped. So you can click right here, um, back up, and it'll back up all your stuff uh, and everything like that. So um, I already reset mine and backed everything up. So you just click OK, and it says checking ADB status, device connected. Uh, rebooting your device into bootloader mode, which looks like this. I'll lift my tablet up and all that kind of stuff. And it should say right down there at the bottom, it should say lo uh, lock state. I don't know if my camera is going to focus on the words. And then it should say locked. Okay, and then, and then this right here should pop up on your screen. You should now see a screen on your device titled unlock, uh, unlock bootloader. Uh, rest uh, you, you can use your volume the cradle buttons right on well for me on this side to uh, scroll up and down and then the power button to press yes so you just click yes and then up there it says well nothing apparently because it goes too fast so with rebooting your device and if um if it worked properly and everything like that when it when you uh your device starts to reboot it should say um have that uh, symbol down there at the bottom so it says uh, waiting for your device to reboot uh, may take a while um, after you boot back up you can uh, go through the initial setup or and then just make make sure you're basically what we're gonna do is we're just gonna let it go through all the setup and everything like that I'm just gonna kinda click through most of it and then um, we just gotta return uh, turn back on the USB deb debugging that way we can uh, finish uh, 
rooting our device. <coughs> so, gotta wait for it to boot up. Shouldn't take that long. But yeah. I need to get a better uh, setup station here for um, doing these uh, tutorials because uh, at least for tablet, like PSP it's a lot easier, but with tablet it's a lot harder to like be able to like plug in everything because this is like a, a two-handed thing and I have a, uh, a, um, wow, I can't even think about what it's called now, um, like, I have, that's what it's called, I have a tripod but I don't have any room to set it up right here so um, I need to find a way to do that so just come into you click play um, I'm gonna type in my password for my uh, my for my Wi-Fi real quick and uh, so that's done and it's connecting and then I'm just gonna skip the rest of it no not now. I don't care. Setup complete. Just go into menu. Settings. Settings. Back down developer options. Make sure you turn it on. And then USB debugging. Turn it on. And then you go back to, to the home and come back up here to the computer. All right, and exit that out. Okay, now what you want to do is you're just going to click root. And this is basically saying uh, what basically everything's doing. Um, you need to be unlocked in order for this to work, and we are already unlocked. So what you need to do is just come down here to the bottom and click OK. And then it should check ADB status, device connected. And it'll just basically go through the same kind of spiel uh, it did before as um, going into the bootloader and everything like that. So it's basically the same thing, honestly. It's not, it's not really that much of a difference. And uh, as you can tell, if you uh, look down here, um, it should say lock state unlocked. Booting downloaded image. So basically, basically um, um, if you don't know what rooting is, and uh, basically what rooting is, is it is giving your giving you the permissions to do things on your Android device that, and like the, well for the Nexus for what Google doesn't want you doing. Basically, it lets you do like lets you use certain apps and all that kind of stuff like super user I mean I haven't really got much into um, rooting and stuff like that, but since I got my Nexus Seven, I wanted to push out what I know so far, learn more, and just start making more videos and stuff like that, because um, I really want my Android side of the channel to kind of burst out a little bit more, because uh, as most of you guys know, sadly to say, the PSP side of the channel is, is pretty much dead, just for the fact the PSP scene is, is, is really gone, like there's nothing really, like there's no, it's nothing more, like it's almost... Like, there's not any more developers. Uh, I was going to show you that, but basically you see it's working now. But as I was saying, um, and it says rooting up here at the uh, computer. And, yeah. But basically, it's like there's not, there's not, everybody's done with PSPs. Um, I'm, I'm thinking about trying to get the Vita because apparently they're starting to make custom firmware for the Vita. Which, that'll be really cool because, uh, I mean... Just get into the new gen of hacking and stuff like that. So, um, I definitely want to get the Vita and do all that kind of stuff. Are just kind of waiting for the price to drop because it's pretty expensive. Um, actually, it's about as expensive as my Nexus here. But okay, so it says um, Open Super User uh, <coughs> Super Su, which is Super User, and it prompts you to um, or no, I don't think that is Super User or whatever. Uh, open. Uh, Su uh, super SU and prompt you to update the binaries. Make sure you connect to the internet and then open the BusyBox installer and uh, grant super user permissions and let it install. That's it. Enjoy your um, rooted device and that's basically it. So, you click OK and we will come down <clears throat> come down here to the uh, whoa, not what I want to do. I'm going to unplug this because I hit the spacebar and almost prompted it to try to root again. That's not good.
So basically what we want to do is we want to unlock this bad boy and uh, click home. And then what we're going to do is you're going to come down here to the Super SU and I'm going to see if I can try to do this with one hand. And then you want to continue. Ah, see, I pressed the home button. All right, so it might look kind of crappy, but oh well. Click continue, continue, and then it shouldn't take all that long. And then you just back out. And then what you want to do is you want to come up here to Busy Box Free. Tap that. It might take a little bit to uh, boot up, but <clears throat> not that much. So, And then what you want to do is you should prompt it with something like this. And you want to press Grant. Grant the permission. Oh. Okay, my bad. I didn't click it. I thought I did. And that's it. Now you have a rooted Nexus device. Um... Stay tuned for the up and coming tutorials I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm going to sh I'm going to show you how to put it back to stock, basically how to flash stock it and unroot it, how to relock it and everything like that, just in case something like happens. Um, not because of rooting purposes, because be say something else happens, like your freaking mic jack or something messes up or something something bad happens. Um, that way you can unroot it, <clears throat> relock it, and send it back in and not have any problems with them trying to say, oh, you voided your warranty or anything like that. Because as far as I understand, um, as long as you unroot it and relock it, that's not voiding your warranty. They won't never know that you did it in the first place. So yeah, uh, like I said, stay tuned next time. Rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.